Hey guys, good morning. Happy Saturday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and early. 3.30 a.m. here in Connecticut on the dot in Connecticut here on the East Coast. You know if I'm up this early that I am feeling very strongly about something. This, this story kind of came back to related to me. I felt a personal connection to this story. Yesterday I talked about masks. Uh, a 40-year-old, a 40-something-year-old woman refused to wear a mask. They turned the plane around back to Miami. And I did not know that Meatloaf, who passed away in the last couple of day or two, uh, reportedly, reportedly passed away from COVID or COVID-related uh, issues. This here's an interesting thing. I, I, I went through over 15 different articles. I'll have links down below. And the conservative-leaning media sites, like New York Post, I think Fox News, did not seem not to want to directly connect his passing away. The days they said that he passed away and that he was very sick with COVID. You know, they kind of sidestepped that he, he passed away from COVID. Whereas the majority of other outlets, I, I guess he had a business dinner on just two days ago, the Thursday, and it was canceled because he was seriously ill with COVID. I did not know this. Okay, so some more investigation. He was extremely anti-mask. He said he did, he, if I die, I die. I will not be controlled. He said that masks, I, I got all the quotes and everything down below, that masks, masks make his nose itchy and he can't breathe. <laughs> this, this really ticks me off, this one here. This, this reminds me of Audrey, my, my ex-girlfriend, best friend that just passed away, not even five months ago. Uh... I'll get into that more in a second. But when I hear somebody complain about a mask being itchy, like, and she actually said the same kind of thing. And she was on a ventilator and intubated with MRSA. Uh, I think it was a little bit more uncomfortable than an itchy mask. But as you can tell, I still harbor some, so it, it, I feel a connection to this story. All right, so there's some quotes that popped up. I'll have all the links down below. Uh, quotes that popped up from Meatloaf. He was very, uh, he spoke out against the vaccine mandates in Australia. I'm not sure if he was Australian or lived in Australia. I'll, I admit I'm, I'm ignorant on that fact, but he was very uh, outspoken on mandates. Now, all of these articles, I could not find, none of them could confirm or deny that he was vaccinated or unvaccinated. Uh, looking at all of his, everything he said about not being controlled, uh, if I die, I die. Uh, he called airline, uh, the stewardesses on airlines, he called them, uh, I, I can't use the word, uh, it's a four-letter word, begins with N, ends with I, Talks. it's about uh, the soldiers in Germany, World War II, those guys, you know. Uh, he compared stewardesses to, or the, the airline people, because they want, they, they request that people wear masks, he compared them to these people, storm stormtroopers. It seems lit. See, did stuff like that that really exaggerated that bothers me. Uh, I don't even know where to get into this. Uh, all right, let's just talk about being controlled. I this is the part that I see a big disconnection between some people. The same people talk about how it's how this is politicized and they won't be controlled. And with me, when I see this, I see it as a health issue. The first thing I think about is my family. Uh, I do not want to get my family ill. Uh, can I take precautions to keep my family? I care. I think I, I do. I care more about my family, I think, than my own personal health. Um, politics doesn't really play into it. Now, here's an interesting thought. I remember back when Trump was president, and it looked like he might be reelected. And my thoughts on the way he was pushing so fast with the vaccine and the thought that he was going to be probably might be president in 2022... I don't know, to be honest with you guys, I really, I'd like to believe that I would have gotten the vaccine and I wouldn't have gone the same way as these Trump supporters now, because that's what it really seems like. It seems like because Biden is president that somehow they won't be controlled and they're not going to take the vaccine, even though they tout how, how uh, Trump's uh, warp speed vaccine, they, they talk about how great it is and how great he is for developing it, but they won't take it. Uh, just one more oxymoron, ridiculous, hypocritical statement from Trump supporters. Okay, this 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 thing with Milo really 
bothered me too. Um, it reminded me of Audrey. She said the same exact things. She said, uh, you know, she didn't trust the vaccine. If I pass away, I pass away. Uh, I won't be controlled. And I, I thought about that somewhat too. And I think about the hole that these people leave in their lives. And that's, it, it's kind of a selfish statement. I mean, I hate to say that now, but, um, you know, I, I don't know. I think about the, the, the pure, I, I just heard from her family what she went through. Being intubated, she couldn't talk, MRSA and all that stuff. And, you know, and it just, it seems like such pointless suffering just to make a point that they won't be controlled um i mean we all we all read the news articles where a lot of these people that are in the hospital start asking or begging for the vaccine but at that point it's too late um and i don't think it, it almost seems selfish because you don't they don't realize the whole the pain that p the that the, they, they leave behind they you know if i die i die you know, and they come across, you know, freedom, give me freedom or give me death. But the reality of this is, you know, they're going to suffer horribly. But more than that, they're going to leave a hole in all the people around them in their lives. Just yesterday, I didn't plan on talking about this. But just yesterday, something came on TV, a commercial for a movie or something. And I started crying. Uh, you know, it's been five months. And I, I didn't even see this coming. I wasn't going to even talk about, you know, I had no plans to talk about this. What I'm saying is there's, there's, there's always going to be this huge hole in my life that losing her left. And, and I can't even imagine the suffering that her sister, her, her parents are going through. Uh, I don't, I think if she knew that, if she had known what was going to be left, that I don't think she would have would have gone kept saying you know if I die I die. Um, I started thinking you know morally if you believe in if you if you do believe in God which I do um, how far you know how far do you should you go to protect yourself? Um, I've heard people talk about like drug abuse or drinking or being overweight. It, it's almost a form of suicide. To me, it would seem like if there, you know, if there is a God, you might, some of the people watching this, a lot of people watching this might not believe in God, but then, you know, do you have a moral obligation to be as healthy as you can, uh, and not be reckless with your life? Even if you don't believe in God, you could look at it that way. And, uh, I started feeling like a hypocrite this morning. It was just a couple of videos back. I, t I just, I admitted that I didn't wear, yesterday's video, I think it was, I admitted not wearing a helmet. You, if one thing you get from me, you get honesty. I would rather realize that I'm saying something hypocritical and say it to you guys first than have you guys point it out to me after. Um, you know, so I, I don't know. I, I don't have all the answers to this, but uh, it turns out meatloaf, uh, he passed away from from COVID, and uh, oh, here's some here's something else. So the the Google searches, a lot of other people were looking for this. Was he Republican and was he a Trump supporter? Uh, I have a YouTube video. The link's right down below from The Apprentice, where Donald Trump actually says, "I'm thinking of running for president." Meatloaf, do you think I should run for president? Yes, I I would work on your campaign. I would support you. Because as, as soon as I found out he passed away from COVID, that he was anti-mask, that uh, he was against ma vaccine mandates, I, myself, and apparently a whole slew of other people on Google looked to see if he was Republican and he was a Trump supporter. Now, there's a couple other articles where apparently he, there's reports that he had a fallout, which Trump was, was angry with him about something he said. Uh, but for the most part, it does seem... It, the Republican thing isn't easy, easily answered. It sounds like he might have been independent or non -par or, or nonpartisan. Uh, but I got a YouTube video right below where he says, I'd support you for president. So there's your answers. Uh, another Trump supporter, anti-vax, anti-mask person passing away needlessly. You guys have a great Saturday. I'll be back later with another video.